This is VOA News. I'm Joe Ramsey. Former U.S. President Donald Trump showed up for the first day of his civil trial in New York over his business practices and called it a scam and a sham. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. Donald Trump came in a side door. Still, that did not stop him from addressing media in the courthouse hallway where Trump railed at the judge's pretrial decision that he engaged in fraud. We're going to be here for months with a judge that already made up his mind. It's ridiculous. But ever the optimist. Other than that, things went very well. Trump also blasted New York Attorney General Letitia James, who brought the lawsuit. No matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. James is seeking $250 million in penalties and a ban on Trump doing business in New York. Julie Walker, New York. The White House continued on Monday to try to reassure allies of sustained U.S. financial support for Ukraine's war effort after Congress's short-term funding package dropped assistance for Ukraine in its battle against Russia. The president said it. The speaker and the overwhelming majority of the Congress have steadfastly supported uh, supported Ukraine. So there is a bipartisan support for this from the beginning. It's going to continue. We have heard from Republicans and Democrats in Congress, and that's what we expect. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre also said U.S. President Joe Biden has rallied more than 140 countries to condemn Russia's invasion and built a coalition of more than 50 countries to provide aid to Ukraine. U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Kevin McCarthy faces a direct threat to his leadership when hardline fellow Republican Representative Matt Gates called on Monday for a vote to oust him injecting an additional element of chaos into Congress. This is VOA News. The United Nations Security Council on Monday authorized a foreign security mission to Haiti a year after the Caribbean country asked for help to fight violent gangs that have largely overrun its capital. The 15-member council also expanded a U.N. arms embargo to include all gangs, The embargo previously only applied to designated individuals. Haitian officials have said guns used by gangs are believed to have been mostly imported from the United States. The council adopted a resolution drafted by the U.S. and Ecuador that authorizes the so-called multinational security support mission to take all necessary measures code for use of force. Two rights groups have released reports saying Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa has failed to break with the past and isn't keeping his promise to allow freedom of the press and access to information. As Columbus Mavhunga reports from Harare, the government has a different opinion. Jen Fan Muswere, Zimbabwe's Minister of Information, defends the government's actions. In order to enhance access to information, the government of Zimbabwe has done a lot in order to ensure that we achieve universal access to information. He said the government is working to open the ICT sector so that satellite technology can be used to ensure universal access to information. Columbus Mafungam, VOA News, Harare, Zimbabwe. The Pope suggests blessings for same-sex unions are possible in response to five conservative cardinals. AP correspondent Walter Ratliff reports. Pope Francis says there may be ways to bless same-sex unions in the Catholic Church. The Vatican published a letter Francis wrote to five cardinals after receiving a list of five questions from them on hot-button issues facing the Church. In the letter, Francis suggests that such blessings could be studied if there was no implication that the union was a marriage. Francis has voiced support for civil laws extending legal benefits to same-sex spouses, and bishops in parts of Europe have been blessing same-sex unions without any Vatican censure. I'm Walter Ratliff. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi confirmed on Monday he will stand for a third term in office in an election in December, as opposition parties complained people trying to register support for other candidates had faced obstacles. CC, a former army chief who has been president since 2014, had been widely expected to run again and secure a third term after constitutional amendments four years ago that would allow him to stay in office until 2030. Download the VOA mobile app. I'm Joe Ramsey.